100% rise could be connected to Jim Bell's resignation, or maybe a tweet about ice cream. Here we go again, folks. GameStop stock is soaring once more. Since its massive short squeeze driven by the Reddit community Wall Street bets and a few financial influencers, during which GME peaked at $483 per share in late January, GameStop's stock has been hovering in the $40-50 a share range since early February without much motion. Until today. This morning, GME opened at $44.70 a share, and until a few hours ago it looked like today would be another normal day. Then, just before 4 p.m. Eastern Time, it began creeping up again, rising faster and faster in the final hour of trading. Trading was halted multiple times in the final stretch due to its rapid ascension, and by the end of the day GME had closed at $91.70 per share. But somehow, it's not done. GME has since continued to climb in after hours trading, fluctuating wildly close to $200 per share at points. Why are we doing this again? It's hard to tell. Skimming the r Wall Street Bets subreddit doesn't reveal much for sure, and Reddit was down for a period of time earlier today right around when this started kicking off, though it's unclear if those events are actually connected. It is clear that many of the investors there are as surprised as anyone, if also delighted. The most obvious theory is that this is connected to the announcement of the departure of GameStop CFO Jim Bell yesterday, though this doesn't fully explain what's going on. Bell's resignation was revealed late yesterday, and if that were the only motivator, the stock likely would have gone up in after hours trading yesterday and opened much higher. Instead, it remained steady until nearly the end of trading the following day. Another theory circulating is that it was indeed because of Bell's departure, but with different context. A source speaking to Forbes last night indicated that Bell's resignation wasn't exactly his idea, and that the board had lost faith in Bell to make the necessary e-commerce shifts to save the company. That would be in line with other supporting information about the situation at GameStop, such as a recent board refresh to include longtime activist shareholders and Chewy CEO Ryan Cohen, who was very popular among the short squeeze crowd for his success in previous companies. And it would certainly explain why GameStop was willing to part with Bell when his contract stipulates a $2.8 million severance package. But the weirdest theory out there is that the surge is because of this tweet from Cohen, depicting just a McDonald's ice cream cone and a frog emoji.